Hey everyone, Stand Up On The Spot is coming back to New York City on March 26th with Dan Soder, Joe List, Corinne Fisher, and Therapy Gecko. And every second Tuesday of the month, you can catch Stand Up On The Spot at the World Famous Comedy Store in Los Angeles, California. Also come see me on tour in Spokane, Washington, Austin, Texas, West Bend, Wisconsin, Kansas City, Missouri, and more. Get tickets and new merch at jeremiahwatkins.com. Hey everyone, the best way you can support the show is by leaving a like, comment, and make sure you're subscribed before you go. Now please enjoy Stand Up On The Spot. What's up, Comedy Store? How we doing tonight? <laughs> Welcome to Stand Up On The Spot. I'm your host, Jeremiah Watkins, and this is how the show works. We, the comedians, are coming up here with no prepared material. We're going to ask you guys, the audience, for suggestions. You're going to yell stuff out, and we're going to create Stand Up On The Spot based off those suggestions. Who's ready to kick it off? What do you say, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we got? Golden Globes. Golden Globes. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> San Francisco. San Francisco. <laughs> Thank you. You're good. You're good. <laughs> she, she's like, I, listen. I don't. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, San Francisco. Um, uh, I, I I I think of dark things when I think of San Francisco. Uh, it, it's an interesting place because. There is like, uh, there's homeless uh, in San Francisco, and then people jump off the bridge, but then you, you counter it with the gayest people on earth. <laughs> like that's like, like that's the yin and the yang of San Francisco. People be like, dude, I don't, I think I'm gonna end it. And then somebody's just like, yes. <laughs> Excuse me, homeless person, I have somewhere to be. <laughs> Like, that's the fun of San Francisco. Like, how dynamic that place is. You know what I mean? That's fun. I like it. Uh, let's grab another suggestion. Juggalos. Juggalos. <laughs> Yo, where the orange soda at? Uh, man, it's... Uh, I liked... Uh, if you don't know what a juggalo is, they're, uh, they're big fans of uh, Insane Clown Posse. And I liked the reveal, like after years of like following them around the country, they revealed like they kind of tricked people to be like, we were spitting Christian lyrics this whole time. <laughs> what a great trick. <laughs> Just to be like in the, like you, you're moshing, you're like going crazy and you're like, I was moshing for the Lord this whole time. <laughs> I'm wearing makeup on my face. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Pass me the orange soda. I'm, I'm not, things aren't doing good for me right now. I know they're not doing good. Bow your head in prayer and, and grab your brother's hand <laughs> to the left and right of you. That's a wild trick. That would be, that'd be funny like, like if magicians did that. Like, like if you were at a magic show and then all of a sudden like they like pulled like the curtain down. They're like, you're in a Catholic church. I'm like, what? <laughs> I know, the priests are coming out, they're like, hello, children. <laughs> That's a weird magic trick, you know? <laughs> uh, let's grab another suggestion. Cougars. Cougars. Uh, you know what's weird? As I get older, my taste in women is aging as well. Does that mean, like, that's normal, right? <laughs> I feel like some comics that's not. <laughs> Let's grab another suggestion. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Yo, you saw how white I was and you're like, you're like, this dude will know about sunscreen. Man, I, uh, I freaking hate sunscreen. <laughs> It's like sometimes, like I hate sunscreen so much. I'm, I'm sometimes like I look out the window. I'm like, maybe I don't need to go outside today, <laughs> because it's like it's a it's a chore. Like it's like it's the white plight. 
<laughs> just having to. <laughs> Otherwise, you literally turn into a redneck that everybody makes fun of. Yeah, you know, I've never put on any sunscreen in my entire life. <laughs> and I'm doing pretty good out here with no technology and nobody telling me what to do. What is an SPF? Uh, let's grab uh, another suggestion, maybe up here. Asia. Asia, just the whole freaking continent. <laughs> was that an Asian lady said it? Yes, it was. <laughs> Talk about my people. <laughs> There's billions of us. Talk about us. Be honest. Can you tell the different Asians apart as an Asian person? Could you, what are you? Russian. You're Russian? Okay, that's, that's the Asia Europe. Kinda is, kinda is, you know. Russia is kinda like the North Korea of Europe. What, is it not? That's a pretty good analogy, I feel like. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's one, that just because there's one beautiful Russian person in here, she's like. <laughs> and then she's like, I will kill him later tonight. <laughs> I do not appreciate him talking about my country. I want him, do not keep the focus on Russia. Talk about Asia. <laughs> Talk about any other country than mine. <laughs> Let's grab one last suggestion. Pickles. Pickles. Um, man. There's so many different variations of pickles out there. There's that sweet, there's that dill. You can pickle pretty much anything. Isn't that weird? You can pickle anything. <laughs> can pickle anything. <laughs> Maybe the more I say it, the more it'll make me think of something that's not there. <laughs> Did you know, y'all, you can pickle anything? <laughs> <laughs> you really let me down with that suggestion, man. You really... <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, do you like pickles? No, I saw you with Stevie Weeby when you guys had that pickle thing. Yeah, heck yeah. I did a live show Okay, I'll tell you about pickles. <laughs> I did a live show at the farmer's market. Uh, I did a live podcast uh, outside of a pickle stand. And uh, it was one of the first times my two and a half year old son saw me like on a stage performing. And now he thinks I work at the farmer's market. <laughs> like, like anytime I'm like, I gotta go to work, he's like, you go and sell pickles? I'm like, your dad doesn't sell pickles for a living. All right? I, I tell dick jokes in a mic for a living. So yeah, pickles. Did you get any of the, the custom pickles that we had? You didn't. Thanks for the support, man. Uh, let's grab one last suggestion. Mom friends. <laughs> Mom friends sounds like the beginning of a no. Hey, you gonna invite you gonna invite your friend over? <sighs> it's my friend's mom. Why would I invite my friend's mom over? <laughs> Why would I invite her over? She's like she's like twelve years older than me. Why would I Why would I invite her over? <laughs> Hi, is Tyler there? Mom, what are you doing here? Tyler, whoa, your mom came, and I just did too. <laughs> Who's ready to kick the show off? What do you say, huh? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm loving this energy right now. Let's keep it up, y'all. 
If your next comedian comes to the stage has a great series called Keep Your Distance, has an amazing comedy special called Funny in Real Life, and is my, one of my favorite top people to watch on social media. I watch all this stuff, and you guys should too. Please welcome the amazing Kev on stage to the stage, everybody. Come on. Kev on stage. Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. All right, stand up on the spot. It means you guys give me stuff to talk about. And I do my best to prove to you that I should be doing this for a living. <laughs> so let's get it. Let's hear. What do we got? Thugs. Thugs? Wow. Wow. First black person comes up. Soon as a black guy comes, thugs, thugs. That's, you know what? Soon as I seen you, first thing came to mind was thugs. White people are the original thugs. Was that the Asian Russian lady? Or is that somebody else? <laughs> That's not her, is it? You are the Asian Russian? Russians really are the thugs, really. If you watch, nah, nah, I'm, I, I got it now. If you watch any movie where it's a global threat, it's not black people in the Interpol. You never seen Tom Cruise fighting black people in Italy or Spain. Jason Bourne was never dealing with black people. Once you leave America, that's where our threats end. We not going to Turkey to be like, where's the drug? We don't have no way to get over there and do our crimes. Our crimes are very localized to North America's southern continents, heavy in LA, South Central, white flight, y'all fault too. But globally, we don't have no global power. We are black, we stay here. When I watched Taken, it wasn't no black people that took that baby. Black people ain't had nothing to do with the baby being taken. They had nothing to do with the, all the other criminal operations. When they went to the little secret dark room, remember all 12 people was like bidding on the people? You ain't see no Reggie in there. <laughs> Reggie was not in there like 1200. You didn't see that. <laughs> Reggie was nowhere to be found in taken or born supremacy, mission impossible, nothing. We is snowfall. Power, <laughs> localized drugs. We is regional heroin, cocaine, Baltimore to New York. We work heavy there. But yeah, no more suggestions from you, man. It's all race related. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> dogs. Dogs? Oh, listen, let me tell you about something about dogs. We got a dog for my son a little bit, but then we kind of took him back. Um, I used to be mad at dog lovers till I got a dog. I instantly became everything people hate. I didn't realize how, I got a little golden doodle and I didn't realize you're not supposed to like scientifically get your dogs better and cuter, but you can pay to be like, I don't want that dog, but make them little. <laughs> if you have the money, you can get any type of dog, really. Apparently like Frenchies and pugs, you're not supposed to do that, but nobody cares. Like they pick those dogs out and those dogs, their whole life is like <laughs> please, please, please put me out of my misery. And we're like, look at my $10,000 dog. And the dog's like, science has ruined my entire existence. I used to be a hunter. I can't have had a deep breath my whole life. We don't care. We're like, oh, look at him, he snores. He's like, please kill me, euthanize me, please. We don't care. We're like, oh, Charles. Let me tell you what's crazy, right? We have a dog, a uh, little golden doodle, and my wife has taken to the dog more than I like. Uh, we have like a little kennel for him to go to sleep in, right? You know what I'm saying? Go sleep in your room. We call it his room, but it's like a little cage. Um, Cause we're thugs. Uh, <laughs> nothing is weirder than your dog being around when your wife is open to certain things at night and the dog is against it. I've never been in a position, because I'm not stopping for no one or animal. So I was like, yeah, you thought you had doggy style. This is the real, we culturally appropriating y'all styles now. You ain't even got it like this. That's wild to do in front of a dog. You making eye contact with the dog mid-stroke. He's just like, put me out of my misery. <laughs> I haven't had a deep breath. That was a callback. <laughs> I hate Jeremiah's show, but I'm glad I'm doing it. I 
I really hate it. I'm a control freak. I don't want you guys having control over what I say. But two things went well, so I feel better now. All right, what else do we have? IBS. What was that? IBS. IBS? I Irritable bowel syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have said nothing. I shouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> Irritable bowel syndrome is what you were thinking about? Do you suffer from it? No. No, you, you don't suffer from it. But people talk about it. Huh? People talk about irritable bowel syndrome. Okay, can I be honest with you about IBS? I'm, I'm a kind of smart person, I'm not a genius. When I first heard that, my first thought wasn't like their bowels were irritable. I thought they were irritable when they had to use the bathroom. I thought they were just like, oh my God, this freaking dude who's not coming out right. Oh, I'm so irritable when I bows. It's just, I just am so frustrated with our politics and just, I just need a deep breath. Like I didn't realize, and I was like, doesn't make any sense that they'd be irritable during bowels. But um, that's kind of like the worst thing ever to have like irritable bowel syndrome. I don't know if you can tell, I'm a very large person. Uh, I'm like 260, 70, 80, I don't really check anymore. <laughs> and um, my bowels are smooth and I'm thankful for that because I love to eat, I don't like to exercise, I don't like to eat healthy. Healthy food's not nearly as exciting. You don't ever see fried celery at the fair. <laughs> it's like, I'm from Texas and like, we really take unhealthy food to the max. <laughs> We are like a regular, like butter, for example. Most people would argue butter is not a healthy thing to begin with, right? Texas State Fair in Dallas, they will take a stick of butter, dip that in, in flour and, and fry butter, and it will sell you a stick of fried butter. That is what Texas people think is good. And people will pay two, three dollars to eat hot fried margarine. That doesn't make any sense. We eat in America like healthcare is free. <laughs> you, it's not free. The hospital, sometimes I feel like they're fighting against you living. They're like, you need a heart, you had a heart attack, that's crazy, that's $5,000. <laughs> like nigga, you're gonna give me a heart, oh sorry, I didn't mean to say, it just comes out. <laughs> I said nigga, and this whole row was white. And I immediately regretted it. I was like, and I, it was so free. I shouldn't feel this comfortable around y'all. <laughs> Where's my black people? Eye contact now, set me straight. Let's get us back. <laughs> he heard bows. Where's Dumbfounded? He was Asian, that's kind of, you know what I'm saying? He raps though, so it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? He cool though. Sorry, I lost my train of thought once I said I had to, I had to dial it back. <laughs> All right, anything else but irritable bows. Got that solid cookouts. I missed the first. Carne asada slash cookout. Carne asada slash cookout. Okay, let me tell you, you Mexican? Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you what the best thing happened in my life. My first house that I rented in LA, I had next door neighbors who were Mexican, right? Nobody knows how welcoming Mexican people are during a cookout until it's happening. Over my fence, you could see their yard, right? I'm just in the backyard picking up grass and stuff. They got the grill going, they got the beer. On the, that was something I hadn't heard of. They was like, hey, Kev, you want some tacos? I was like, me? <laughs> I don't have nothing to offer you. He's like, no, they come in, had rice and beans. They was handing me tacos over the thing. I, I rolled my R so good <laughs> to impress them, my neighbor. I was like, this carne asada is fire, huh? <laughs> this carne asada is fire. <laughs> I rolled too hard. All right, that's my time. Thank y'all so much. I'm coming on stage. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, Irritable Bows. I know it was you. I know you suffered for a little bit. Yeah, keep it going for Kevin on stage. One more time, guys. Yeah. You know what's making me laugh in the back is the the first suggestion was thugs, but then the second suggestion was dogs, and I immediately thought D A W G S. Yeah, you got that dog. That dogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what else we got? What are we uh, What are we thinking? Eight We're gonna take some suggestions together and see what we can do with them. Eight Hotel mile pillows. Eight mile hotel pillows. <laughs> oh, I see. We're getting different suggestions up here, huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> Once That's Jeremiah walked out, they're like, hotel <laughs> pillows Hotel for him. pillows. That guy looks like he yeah. knows a thing yeah. or two about hotel Bag pillows. Bag of mayonnaise. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> you just inspired hotel I, pillows yeah. out of them. Like, that was that wild. Guy, I know a Marriott Bonvoy member when I see uh, one. Yeah. You probably <laughs> platinum. You probably platinum at the Marriott Bomba courtyard. Are you courtyard? Uh, courtyard. courtyard. Big courtyard, big courtyard uh, energy. Yeah, big courtyard <laughs> energy. Uh, I uh, fell in love with a hotel pillow once. Uh, <laughs> you ever lay on a pillow that changes your your sleep trajectory? Yes. yes. I literally. I was undressing this pillow. I was like looking for its tag and stuff. <laughs> That is such a weird visual. Like, girl, let me tell you girl, what. I got me. to know more about you. Ooh, what is that? 0678678. Oh, 0678. Okay. Oh, you from Betty Bath and Beyond. You an old pillow. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Now, that story ain't even open no more. Goose feathers from Russia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I looked it up. I ordered one online. It was like well, pr probably one of the craziest purchases I've ever made online. Cause you it was ordered like, a hotel pillow? I ordered a hotel pillow. It was like $150. Where where did you go? Huh? I just, I tracked down the website. Dude, it was like in a haze. I was like, I had just jerked off. I was in a haze. Okay. I was like... <laughs> I knew there was something more than sleep. He was like, man, the you thing know, you like, did. I didn't, I didn't have the post-nut clarity yet. <laughs> so I was like, oh, oh man, this feels, this feels so good. Like, <laughs> I'll what, do whatever. What were you doing with the pillow? <laughs> I don't know. I was just laying on it. I was laying on it. Like, I just, like, you know, I just, like, did my thing. And then, like, I was like, oh. Oh, oh. It, the way it caught you. Right. Got it. You're like, come on, Jeremiah. You had a time tonight. Yeah. Boy. It I was whisper sweet nothing. I wanted to be held by this thing <laughs> for, for eternity. <laughs> And I, yeah, I looked up the company on the tag, and then I ordered it, and then it came, and it was uh, it wow. was amazing. Yeah, so I, I still sleep with that pillow. You said eight mile. Somebody said eight mile. Yep. I love that movie, by the way. I literally, when I started comedy, I used to come. I used to do like Eminem's rap in my head before I'd be like Mom Spaghetti. I just kept saying that though, because he raps a lot. There's a lot of words, so I just would be like Mom Spaghetti, Mom Spaghetti. <laughs> Mmm, Mom's spaghetti. Like, I would get distracted. But I think the funniest thing about 8 Mile is like Eminem's best diss of the whole battle rap was the black dude had a great family. Like, that was his thing. Like, yeah. actually, you got your mom and dad, and your name is Clarence, and you go to private school. People were like, you're, poor. you're not poor? What? Like, the fact that we he trusted you. <laughs> like, he was like, uh uh, uh uh, I am poor. My dad got shot. No, he didn't. No, man. That's what message is that sending about yeah. Detroit? Detroit is a great American city. Yeah, it is, man. <laughs> Who said is it though? Detroit is fantastic. You got, you know, <laughs> that was poorly timed. I just couldn't think of anything. That's not. That wasn't a bit. I just didn't know what to say that people would agree. I was gonna say the housing market, but didn't know. And then I was gonna say the Pistons. Yeah. And then I, I don't know that you, many. You Detroit looked at things. me like I was gonna step yeah. in. I'm like, <laughs> you're like, let me tell you about Detroit. The hotel pillows there, I have <laughs> smashed them all. From eight miles, seven miles to Royal Oak. <laughs> That's a city in Oh, no, I've been to Royal Oak. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I grab another suggestion? What do we got? Car insurance. What is it? Car insurance. Car insurance. Yeah, they really white. You know, up, hey, <laughs> they really whiten up the suggestions. Hotel pillows, car insurance. <laughs> Sinus problems. Okay, we get it. We get it. What the? What is going on? You know what it tells me? That part of the club, they just got real life happening right now. We got irritable bowels. We yeah. got cars. Ain't nothing funny, man. I got yeah. irritable bowels. Make that my, funny. My, Make that funny. My car insurance went up. Make me laugh. Right. Make me laugh because my premium is up. I, 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 my car has been hit so many times living in Los Angeles that yeah. it got hit recently. And it was a good feeling to tell the person, be like, nah, I got you. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> like there was a power to that, to Absolutely. be like, to, to be like, you know what? We're good. And they're like, their face was like, what? I'm yeah. like, yeah, it, it's our, it kind of looked like that before a little bit. <laughs> you saved somebody's day that right, day, man. Right, right. It's yeah. tough. Uh, let's grab one last suggestion. Marriage. 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 We're both married guys. Both have kids. We do. Um, yeah. What do you have? Two boys, two girls? Two boys. Two boys. I got two boys. We, got, we both had sex. Yeah. <laughs> marriage is great. I don't know what you were going to say. I love marriage. Marriage is great, and social media reminds me every day that Dude. I made 
the right choice. Yes. When I see what people are going through, like on Twitter last week, this girl was, sh she screenshot this guy she was trying to date. He refused to give her his real name. And I was like, y'all, we can't even say my name is Mike Jones. So why would I think of? <laughs> oh my God, I am so Mike black. Jones. I literally, Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Back know? then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. That was the whitest thing I have ever. <laughs> Mike Jones did not write that song for you. <laughs> they then they fit. didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They don't ever don't do that. That's two eight one. Watch three, me win. Oh Watch my me God. God. <laughs> I've been kept on stage. Thank Come you guys so much, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's keep this amazing energy going for your next comedian coming to the stage. He's got an amazing podcast called Fun with Dumb. Please welcome the amazing Dumb Founder to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on! Yo, what's up, yo? This motherfucker was rapping like Michael Jones over here. What's good, y'all? How y'all doing? All right, throw some words out. What's going on? The performance anxiety. Performance anxiety. Thank you. You're spotting it, huh? <laughs> uh yeah i mean I, I you know i just got back from asia two days ago i was in bali and um i i must have like ate something wrong because i've been like shitting liquids for like f yeah last like six days straight is insane um and i was worried like it's and I can tell your body really just reacts to even words and verbal, just because someone, when someone yelled IBS, my butthole clenched even tighter. <laughs> just terrified some shit was gonna happen. But you know, it's, it's weird, like rap shows, I've done, I've done like probably about a th over a thousand rap shows and I've rarely had any like incident where I had to shit mid show. P mid show, it's just fascinating. But there was one time I was on stage and it just hit me. I couldn't do shit. So I told my DJ, like, yo, you gotta kill about like seven minutes. <laughs> I get on stage, I'm like, I'm back on and I'm feeling good. I'm like, yo, put the beat on, I start killing it. And, and then I forget my lyrics. Like, I, I, it threw me off rhythm or something. I threw, I, and this is my move when I forget lyrics. I go, DJ, cut that shit off. And I look at the crowd like, y'all ain't hype enough right now. <laughs> Run that shit back. <laughs> All right, you're gonna get to another topic. Middle-aged men wearing Jordans. Middle-aged, I, I thought you were about to roast me, like middle-aged <laughs> middle men with green hair. <laughs> middle-aged wear, men wearing Jordans? There's nothing wrong with that. You got Jordans on, what do you got? New Balance. New Balance. <laughs> Age appropriate. <laughs> yeah, uh, middle-aged men wearing Jordans, ain't nothing wrong with that. We got any middle-aged men in here wearing Jordans? No one wants to admit that though, right? <laughs> no one wants to woo for that one. Um, yeah, no, nah, I, I got roasted. Like today I just did a pod with somebody and one of the girls, we we're talking about what garments kind of turn you off. And she said she don't fuck with dudes that wear chucks. Like that's a turn off. Is that, is that a thing? Is that a turn off for anybody like Chucks? Is th throw out a garment that is a turn off for you from a, a, for a person you're dating that would be like a no. Tevas. <laughs> Tevas. Tevas. sandals. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What, what was the other one? Crocs. 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 Are, you know, that's that's it's in the society now. Like it's part of <laughs> it's part of our everyday. You know what I mean? Like if I pulled up with Uggs, maybe you'll be like, Nah, I ain't fucking that dude. You know, but. Fedoras? Fedoras have lasted the test of time, though. That is the most time-traveled hat, you know what I mean? Somehow there's always a fedora rolling up and someone grabs it and they're like, here we go. <laughs> fedoras, fedora's never gonna go away. That shit's always, there's always gonna be one motherfucker with a fedora that's cr creative directing something. <laughs> All right, what else we got over here? Uh, anyone? Disney tattoos, nah, I don't fuck with, I don't fuck with a lot of adults that are obsessed with Disney, yo. Like, that's too much, man. Season passes, like, <laughs> the fuck you doing? That shit is weird, right? Am I, I, <laughs> be a real man, go to Six Flags, get in a fight, you know? <laughs> 
shit. All right, what else we got over here? Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious, yeah, Asian too. Uh, <laughs> Fast and Furious, where are we at, 10? Yeah, Fast and Furious, 10. We, they kind of sleep on the Asian one, Fast and Furious 2, Tokyo Drift. That one's kind of the sleeper. That's, the, that's like Super Mario 3, it's kind of weird and shit, you know? You got a raccoon tail and shit for no reason. Yeah, Tokyo Drift, that's the, that's the weird alt one. <laughs> um, I, I, I stopped following it after like, I, I stopped following after that one, honestly. Is who, who, who watched all 10? Yeah, you over there? Oh, damn, you look like you go to the Fast and Furious cons. Like, <laughs> that, that used to be a big, uh, big thing in the Asian community, car shows. Like, we used to love that shit. And you know, there always was these hot Asian girls that would be in bikinis posing in front of like the rice rockets, we used to call them. And it was sad because that scene kind of died and I like searched all of my favorite like import models, like what, are do what they're doing now and they moved on to vape conventions. <laughs> Imagine going from posing to fire rice rockets to just holding a vape and shit. <laughs> Shit's sad, man. Yeah, anybody else? First date. First date. Uh, damn, do I remember my first, my, I'll tell you my first, the first time I lost my virg virginity, it was the most embarrassing shit. This was my freshman year in high school. I was drunk at a party and this girl stumbles and she like grabs me and brings me into a room and we start making out and then we, we start getting naked. I'm like, oh sure, we're gonna fuck, sweet. <laughs> we smash and then it turns out it's like the senior girl and then the next day, everyone's like, I'm like feeling like the shit, like walking down the hallways, like in a, like a teen movie. And everyone's like, something's different about him, you know? <laughs> like some like, and I'm feeling like the shit walking down the hallway. And then everyone's kind of laughing. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It turned out that girl at the party fucked another dude 15 minutes before me at that party. So my whole nickname for that year was Sloppy Seconds. <laughs> I don't even know why I shared that. That wasn't even funny. <laughs> That was a sad as fuck. That was just sad. <laughs> Look at that pity clap. <laughs> That's what I caught. I, got, I caught the pity clap. <laughs> uh, all right, what else we got here? Sloppy seconds. <laughs> all right, let's get Jeremiah up over here. <laughs> Yes, sir. Keep it going for Dumbfounded, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Yeah. Yeah, I shared a little too much today. Uh, a little TMI. That show sometimes brings it out of us. Sometimes. <laughs> it does. <laughs> we, we, have our, we have our guard down, and then we'll just start talking. Yep. Uh, well, let's grab some suggestions, see what we can do with them. Bidets. Bidets and penguins. <laughs> I got a bidet. Changed my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I like when I go to a place and they don't have a bidet on a toilet and I just use like regular toilet paper. I'm like, nah, uncivilized. <laughs> nah, real talk. Who, you, once you go bidet, you never go back, man. <laughs> you're not, you're not, I you're love not. this guy with a scarf around. He's like, of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's he wanted like, to go in for the dab too. He's yeah, like, he's like, mm -hmm. he's like, dab it, my brother. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, but I mean, for real though. It, People who use bidets know that shit. You just use toilet paper, like you can't get all of that shit. You can't. I mean, that's I'm just, that's just the facts. I mean, <laughs> if you go for blood, you can. <laughs> that is true. This if, is if it's true. a blood in blood out scenario, <laughs> then yeah, you can. If there's no blood, <laughs> you're out there walking around with crust. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else we got? Dad Was it? Dad van. Dad van? I refuse to get one of those. <laughs> My wife like like pitched it. She's a like, dad van. Yeah, she 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 pitched like you know it's, they're pretty spacious, and I'm like I just I can't. I they're the New Balance of cars. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I can't pull up before a set with with car seats in the back of a van, like pulling it, in it's and be like, like, any comedians need a ride up the hill later? I don't know if two of those kids even need that much space in the back. That they seems don't. like a lot of space, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a luxury, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, in K-Town, you know, I was talking about those Tomies, those hostess bars. They pop out of the dad vans. Like really? tw 12 of them, like a clown car. It's crazy. 
<laughs> Got a whole Russian circus back there. It's insane. Yeah. That's like the sexiest clown car ever, though. It's just like he... <laughs> And then two of your kids come out last. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> uh, let's grab another suggestion over here. Jazz music. Jazz music. Jazz music and travel. <laughs> I write to, to jazz music, like screenplays Do and you? stuff. Like, I can't write to any music that's like on, on a beat. Like it has yeah. to be like free flown, you know? Okay. It's EDM just <laughs> building up. Into oh, the, yeah. Ah, no, yeah. I, I have to like let it flow, you know? Like on the beat, I, I follow it like a metronome sometimes when I write. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like, like you're typing three words like every like, <laughs> da, 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 like <laughs> on beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're typing on beat. Or like if it was EDM or something, it's like dee, 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 dee. you're just like furiously typing until the beat <laughs> drops, and then you just like sleep for nine hours and <laughs> do, 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 do. And it sounds, it feels like I'm writing some fire if I'm like writing to some jazz music. Right. Even if I'm just writing an Instagram caption, that's just like <laughs> yeah. Or smoking a smoking a cigarette, yeah. writing an Instagram caption, commenting on girls' posts like with jazz music. <laughs> that ass be fire, miss. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? Sandwiches. Sandwiches, man. This is a fun crowd. I'll tell you what. <laughs> we getting wild with bidets and sandwiches in here. Woo. Uh, sandwiches. I'm a huge sandwich guy. Oh, you are? I'm a, I'm a, I love sandwiches. I was just talking about this with a friend about fuck, marry, kill, bread, rice, or noodle. <laughs> That's you, the carb mafia right there, though. <laughs> I got, I got, you, you gotta, you gotta marry, I think, bread. Absolutely. Bread is just like, and I'm Asian. I'm giving up rice like <laughs> you, you know, like, it's just like, it's in too much shit, right? Bread. Do we agree? Bread, we're marrying bread. We're f***ing rice. We love noodles, but that shit gotta go. Some Italians like, no. <laughs> but, but I'm, I mean, I just feel like that's the proper order. That's the proper order, right? No, no, what are, we, what are, what are you thinking? You marry rice, you f*** bread, and you kill noodles. Yo, Whoa, this girl's... Oh, you are an ally, aren't you? <laughs> shit, I might marry you, shit. <laughs> Rice is frugal, is that what you said? Yeah, keep rice. Yo, I think you should marry this one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, keep it going for dumbfounded. Yeah. How's the energy doing in here? We good, guys? Man, uh, this is one of my good buddies in comedy. Uh, I always love doing sketches with him. Uh, he's got multiple one-hour specials on YouTube that you got to check out. Please welcome my brother, Josh Wolf, to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Josh Wolf. Hey, one more time for Jeremiah, everybody. I do want to say that I have never sat on a bidet but I've never thought of myself as walking around crusty. Like, that is not... I feel like... And I've had sex in one of those dad vans. It's pretty good. Uh, and we had to move the car seats. It was sexy as fuck, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, and also, if you know anything about me, I'm a little high, so we can talk about whatever you want. Uh, all right. <laughs> Ready, go. You're what? 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 Bongs? Bongs? Yeah, dude. Uh, I want to tell you something right now. I remember making my very first bong. Oh, dude. So first of all, I used to buy weed from this dude. Oh, my God. I was pretty dumb growing up. And so um, first bag of weed I bought, I was 14 years old. And I bought... <laughs> this dude was like, how many... Have you ever bought weed before? I go, nah. He goes, I'm going to get you the best sack next week. And I said, okay. <laughs> so the next week he comes back and it's, you know, when I was buying weed before too, when I was growing up, it was just called weed. <laughs> you know, it wasn't called like Alaskan Thunderfuck or it was just weed. And you smoked a joint and you got a headache and you're like, I think that was good. And that was it. <laughs> okay. So, so I didn't know anything about weed. And this dude, 
The guy's name was Billy Harrison, and I'll say it out loud. He's in jail. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. So he brings me this bag, man, and it had some weed in it, and I was like, cool. And he goes, next week I'm bringing you the best bag. And so it, it had like half a mound of the weed and then the rest was filled up with seeds. And I was like, what's, he was like, dude, you get to plant your own. <laughs> I was like, what? He goes, yeah, you can keep the, I can keep giving you the buds. But each one of these seeds grows like 20 of those. And I was like, he was like, I like you. I'm giving you the deal. You don't have to take it if you want it. I was like, no, give me the seeds, bro. Give me the seeds, right? So this dude was selling me a fucking 40 sack of fucking two finger across seeds every week, right? And I was putting them in my, in my drawer, like. Right? And so my oldest brother, who I always wanted to impress, he was at the house. I go, hey, come upstairs. I want to show you something. He was like, what? I was like, get in here. You're going to be pretty impressed with the deal I worked out. <laughs> and I open up this drawer and I lift up the socks. And it's, guys, it's a fucking bird feed in there. It is all fucking seeds. And my brother goes, what's that? I go, weed seeds. I've been buying them every week from Billy Harrison. And he goes, you're so fucking stupid. He goes, what are you gonna do with these? I go, I'm gonna grow them. He goes, where? In mom's garden? What's the plan? With a million and a half seeds. What the f are you gonna do with these? But, we're talking about bongs. I, the, the first bong I ever made with, so was with some Billy Harrison weed. And, oh yeah, and I, and I tried the, uh, the apple. Anyone else do the apple? Yeah, 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 yeah. wow, okay. Was, was the apple anybody else's first? What was that? What was your first? The can. Oh, you went can first? Can. Bong rip. Bong rip. Yeah, no. Bong first. A bong rip? Yeah. yeah. but what what bong did you make first? Toilet paper roll. Toilet paper roll. Fuck yeah. In the probably public bathroom, right? Something like that. Make it nice and dirty. <laughs> Toilet paper roll. I never. Oh, 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 got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I um, I, the first one I made, yo, dude, I did forget that paper was flammable this one time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be cool to smoke out of like a um, a, a cigarette box. Uh, that's good paper on it. Um, so that lit on fire. So that wasn't good. But yeah. <laughs> I it prefer edibles over bongs, or but I'll smoke a blunt. And I only smoke the ones that my son rolls. He's the best blunt roller I've ever had in my life. <laughs> no, this motherfucker, he's like, he licks that shit. Yeah, that's awesome, yeah. Uh, anybody else, yeah. Your sweater. Yeah, I shop at the Denver airport. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing a members only jacket, dude. I wouldn't be talking about other people's clothes. <laughs> you are, yeah, yeah. All right, who else? Who else? Personal development. Must, huh? Personal development. Personal development. <laughs> Listen, if you need help, just blink. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. <laughs> Why'd you say it out loud but look right in his face? That was fucked up. Personal development. <laughs> Listen, I believe in it. I, you know, it, <laughs> it's so much better than calling yourself a piece of shit all day. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm on board for the personal development, but I keep piece of shit as a just. <laughs> it's in the back of the head all the time. All right, who else? Red flags. Yeah, people who ask about red flags, I would think would be the first one. Because um, <laughs> those of us who don't have any, you're like, maybe I got a couple red flags. <laughs> you, you know what I, I don't like? And it's not a red flag, but it's just something I've never liked. Okay, first of all, I can't stand, there's two things. I, I can't stand. <laughs> Listening to people eat, I will fucking choke you out. 
Holy shit balls. Are you trying to murder that food? It's dead already. If I can hear the crunch while your mouth is shut, get the fuck out of here right now. I will break your face off. But you know what bothers me a lot that is, uh, I don't like people with no court awareness. Do you know what I mean? Like in life, like they just, like if, you know people, if you're at the airport or something and everybody is just walking and somebody just goes. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You're like, what the f do you, do, you, do you think you're by yourself here today? That drives me f crazy. It drives me crazy, yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? <laughs> Terry Black's barbecue, dude. The f***ing dude. Let me tell you, best beef rib in America without a f***ing doubt. And if you're high, go there now. Yeah, that's super good. Have you been there? No? Oh, you just saw that? You're just reading? Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. All right. Yeah, anybody else? Yeah, why are you looking at me right in the face when you said that? I know I'm an older gentleman. I will tell you something right now. I thankfully do not have it, but I will tell you something. I, I, I've seen enough old dudes in the locker room at the gym to know what's coming my way. Yeah, you know, the one reason I've actually ever hoped for erectile dysfunction is because I think I could write a lot of good jokes about it. <laughs> I think it'd provide a good hour. Now, after that hour, I might be suicidal for a little while, but... Eh, might be all right. Anybody else? Martial arts. Yeah, f***ing... <laughs> you were just looking at me and you knew, right? You are like, this dude can f*** somebody up. In that sweater, he's got to be confident. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will tell you, I, I tried jujitsu. And then, look, dude, I just, that dude's butthole was right in my face. And I was like, why am I here? I can work out without that part of the workout. That's when I'm telling did it hurt? My feelings, I think, a little bit. But yeah, I'm not coming to pay for that, yeah. If I'm gonna pay for that, I'm really gonna pay for it. I'm not paying for it in a gym. <laughs> I'm gonna get a professional, you know, I'm not. Yeah. Anybody else? Hiking. Hiking? <laughs> Let me ask you what, where are you? Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Uh, was that directed at me or him this time? I couldn't tell. Oh, me. Okay. When you say hiking, do you mean like just getting up in the morning and going up a hill or like bringing tent and shit like that? Just the first one. Just the first one. I like it a lot. I do it every morning at 6 a.m. with my dog, high as f and we hike a mountain. Yo, dude, first of all, it's coyote mating season. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, they're out at six in the morning. Yeah, I live in Las Vegas, and the difference between the, the okay, the difference between the LA coyotes and the Las Vegas coyotes are this. The, I, the LA coyotes all look a little methy. They all look like they would suck your dick for a taco. Do you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> they're all a little like mangy and they run sideways and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the Las Vegas, they're like, I don't know if anyone's ever seen that animated film Balto. Yo, I was out. I have a half pit, half American bulldog. I have a stout dog and we were out walking one morning this was last February and I'm walking with him I'm walking with him I was I was high and I was checking in where I was and I turn around and there was a coyote just following us up the path maybe 20 30 feet and I stop and he stops and I'm like ha ah! you know and he he almost was like hot you dude you need <laughs> need me to come lick your face you know so I pick up a rock and I throw it and it whizzes by his head and he went like this. <laughs> and I was like, we might have to find another way home. I'm not sure he's moving for us, you know? And uh, 
my dog, I was like, my, cause my dog is so much bigger. I was like, hey, dude. Do some dog shit, you know what I mean? Like, he was like behind me looking around my shit. He was like, I'm not going out there. That's a wild dog, right? So, yeah. Um, I don't remember what we were talking about. <laughs> Jeremiah, why don't you come on up here, dude? Keep it going for Josh Wolf, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right, what do we, what do we got? Just stretching a <laughs> yeah, little just, bit, you know? Just doing some stretches in between. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? Are we gonna, uh, Texas we barbecue, Kansas City barbecue. Texas barbecue is so much better. Well, here's the deal. I'm not a big sauce guy. I like the dry rub. That's it. I don't need it. If, you're, if your meat tastes shitty, that's why you put sauce on it. You know what I mean? And so that meat is good at this is the f Do joint. you like your sex dry, too? <laughs> Ask your mom. Whoa! I already did. What did she say? She said no. <laughs> That bitch. Oh, <laughs> uh, what else we got? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Uh, I take them a lot. Uh, <laughs> I looked at you right away. I'm like, is she holding? Maybe with those shoes, she might be holding for sure. Uh, I love mushrooms. Uh, uh, okay, that's a that's not a person. Um, <laughs> Dude, that'd be so weird if, if a person she, came behind the yeah. curtain and was like, your coat, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I almost said excuse me. I was like, that is not oh, a person. Okay. okay. Yep. Um, no, big fan of mushrooms. Uh, as a matter of fact, on the road, if you ever come to a Friday Night Late show, I take about two and a half to three grams of mushrooms before the show, and then I go on stage and we just chat it up. See what happens. Have you ever had a bad trip while doing that? While being on stage? Yeah. No, no, no. But I'm not taking enough. Two and a half, three grams isn't enough to go crazy. <laughs> that's, you, that's, now that that information is out there, you don't think somebody's going to show up to your late show and just be like... <laughs> I fucking wish they would. Are you kidding me right now? That would be amazing. We could talk about that for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> What do you do for work? <laughs> yeah, dude. By the way, if you're watching, whoever that is, come on out. That's amazing. <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> uh, How'd that go again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's grab another suggestion. What do we got? NASCAR and Fleshlight. You say flesh or flash? Flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you pronounce that real good, dude. I like that. Flesh. He even gave you a second chance yeah. to switch it up. He's like, no. Flesh. Yeah. He almost slow moed that yeah, word. Right? Yeah. Flesh. Flesh. Why you the jerk off kind? What? P -p -p <laughs> um. You've used one before. I actually have never used one before. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> I didn't know I had royalty in our presence. I'm, I'm a true dude. man of the people. I'm like... <laughs> I'm old school, dude. I still jerk off in a sock like I lived in my parents' house. You know what I mean? So you do like sex dry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I'm nice to myself. I buy silk socks. <laughs> I'm no barbarian, you know what I mean? Listen, I got my daily you, socks and my jerk off socks. If you've never of an argyle, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> They're all satin socks, you know what I mean? <laughs> never done the flashlight. Hmm. I never have. Have you? Yeah, dude. Freaking, At what point yeah. in your life? Dude, there was, uh, there was a... Should we all get ready for a long story? Because it sounds like you have a lot to say about this. There's a period of time that I look back on that I'm not the proudest. 
I went through. I I I I got a card of one of the people at Flashlight, and they kept sending me free ones. Wait, can you not re you reuse them, right? Not with my hookup. <laughs> They're one and doneers once I'm done with them. You, you were just naming them and pretending they were different people. Yeah, Come yeah. here, Virginia. Oh, hello, don't. <laughs> Don't get jealous, Judy. You're next. <laughs> yeah, they've got all kinds of different ones. They've got, uh, they've got. Did a... you dress them up differently? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a there's a vagina one and there's a butthole one and they are different. The butthole one was too much for me. <laughs> e even the uh, e even. What, what, what do you mean by that? I don't understand. What do you mean too much? I mean, uh, even the flashlight, I was like, have some dignity. <laughs> this is too much. Oh, just the ima for you imagining yeah. it was too much for yeah, you. Yeah, just a little bit too much. So you've never licked somebody's butthole? <laughs> I have a wife, and I'm not answering that question. But okay. yes, I've licked my <laughs> wife's butthole. <laughs> yes. Wow. By the way, a very pro ball licking crowd. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was the one time they were unanimous. It, so yeah, I was like, finally a man like, who yeah, can everyone's like, support his wife. We fucking th that's why we're all here together tonight. Yeah. yeah. If we learned anything here tonight, is that this room will lick a fucking butt dry. There ain't no crusty butts in here, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give it up for Josh Wolf. Hey! All right, we've reached our final comedian of the night. How's the energy doing in here, huh? <laughs> this next comedian coming to the stage, I think, is one of the funniest comics working today. She's got a great podcast called Steph Infection. She's been on Netflix. Please welcome the amazing Steph Tolan to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on! <laughs> I would pick to fuck Hawking just to see his fucking piece. <laughs> Nobody else wants to know if it's like on a curb, like kind of like also propped up on like a pillow. <laughs> like that's probably like a thick piece on a good angle. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody else wants to see Hawking's car. Come on. I'm sick. I want to see them all. Every penis before I die. That's my, that's my New Year's resolution. I see every before I go out. You're covering yours now like I'm gonna look right at it, and I did. Is it there? It's very, okay, it's fine. Um, no, maybe it's cold inside. In need, does it go inside? It's cold, yeah, it's cold, it's cold. It's freezing right there, nowhere else in the room. Um, guy's got an ice pack on his nuts. How are we? Okay, good. You look like you belong in System of a Down. Have you heard that before? Oh, you too, I was talking to him, but both, you're like, I wanna be in the band too, damn it. Actually, all of you look like you're fucking Serge's cousins right now. Jesus Christ. You might have to give that guy your scarf because his, his nuts are cold. Okay. Give me some things here. What do we got? What do we got? Snowflake mullets. people. Mullets? I'll take mullets. No, I don't know what the fuck. What are snowflake people? Yeah. What the hell is that? People who can't take anything, any jokes. The guy in the back corner's got a mouth on him, huh? <laughs> Why the fuck? Are you sitting up here, fucker? Uh, that's where we could have got the juices. No, no, no. You're screwed back there. Just fingering your girlfriend under the table. I know that spot. That's the finger corner. Sick pig. Mullets. I got a mullet. Yeah, we got a mullet. Here, do we like the mullet? It's always just the women and one creepy guy. That's always what it is. I got into this hairdo and now this is who I am. And I'll tell you what. It's a lot of work. I do not look good when I'm wet or when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> this is a very styled haircut. Anytime I wake up, it's like, eh! I look heinous, like a drowned muskrat. Every morning I wake up, nobody wants to fuck this. I see my own reflection, I'm like, this is too much for myself. <laughs> and it's very masculine, and I already sound like this. This is a lot. Like, I feel like if I came in a room backwards, no one would know who I was. <laughs> Hello, how are we? Steven's here, ah, you know what I mean? No one would have any clue. 
mullet's too far down now. Here I am. I'm the mullet queen. This is it. Any anything from you, nut boy? Lesbian auntie in a jumpsuit. What? Lesbian aunt in a jumpsuit. Le- very specific. <laughs> Lesbian aunt in a jumpsuit. Could you? Oh my God. Someone's got something to say to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, see, and I wear jumpsuits. What do you want from me? And I'm an ant, damn it. That's actually exactly who I am. No, I do. I, I give off a very lesbian ant vibe. I want to, I want to, I want to, I'm an ant now. I want to be a good ant. I want to be a very direct ant. You know, you know, those like creepy uncles. I want to have creepy ants come back. I'm going to tell my little niece a big listen up. Men are gross. They're cut stink. Let's get to work here. All right. Your hymen's going to break. It's going to bleed really f***ing badly. <laughs> yeah, that was too far. No one knows what a hymen is in here, huh? No one in here is taking a virginity, I guess. Very thick hymen. Don't like to brag. Um, I'm going to tell her every man's a pervert, especially when they sit in the back corner and they've got a big f***ing mouth on them. Little snowflake boy back there. Every man's got a small, stinky dick. That's what happens. <laughs> I didn't want to be like this. I did. How are we? What else? What else we got? Give me some more stuff. What's the worst body thing you've ever heard? Worst body thing I've ever heard? Oh. What if it's happened to myself? A man bit my neck mole off during sex. (laughs) Oh, the guys aren't hard anymore? I had a giant neck mole the size of a f***ing junior mint bragging. And yeah, and a man bit it off during and sex and I just heard like a <laughs> and it was like oh yeah it was I had to get it surgically removed the next day it was really cool so thanks for bringing that up it's gone though so more money more problems you know what I mean um, did you come? did I come? <laughs> yes and now every time I have to have another mole removed can you imagine that's the only way I come now find another skin tag on my back Bite it or I won't finish. (laughs) That'd be so sick if that actually was what happened to me. Like I literally, something so disgusting like that happened. Like I fart a lot during sex and I'm scared that one time I'm gonna fart and come at the same time be like, damn it. (laughs) This is who I am now. (laughs) Do who has a weird kink? Do we have weird kinks in here? Anyone that wants to admit something that turns them on that you don't wanna talk about? (laughs) Oh, you can ask me the questions. But when it's reversed. <laughs> any, any other ones? Spitting in each other's mouths. This has gotten real sick. I know I'm a sick f- but you guys are really <laughs> spitting in each other's mouths. My God. Ew, I had a guy one time, Arlen, used to work at Squirrel on Virgil. I want you to hear this. <laughs> I've been trying to find him for years. <laughs> Horrendous Tinder date. He horked in my mouth. Like, 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 it wasn't just like a, like, I feel like that's like a nice little, it's not nice, don't f***ing do this. But he leaned back like he's had a cold for a couple months. Like a, cleaned it out, spit it in. Oh, I, f- no, I literally f***ing barf, you're gonna barf. I, this is how I want the show to end. Everyone just vomits on the ground right now. You did this! I've been trying to find this guy for months though. I, I, it's honestly like years now. I want to do something worse to him. Just want to save my dog shit in a bag and be like now it's your turn and just pretend to fucking spit in <laughs> fuck you arlen if you're fucking watching this you piece of shit people are getting carried away i don't know what's going on porn's made people sick now this gaping stuff you guys seen gaping people someone went back there once and tried to open my butt i'm like whoa 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 wait a second butt stays closed i don't know what to tell you my anus is staying closed i don't need anyone back there do you spit in his mouth You, oh my God, you do! The braces, really? That doesn't make you think you're fucking a child every time he does that? (laughs) He spits in your mouth with the braces still? (laughs) Isn't there food stuck in there? Did he get the elastics too? He's like, "Mm, hold on a second. (laughs) Spits in your mouth and you like it. Does he brush his teeth first? Yeah. Ew, I don't know why. (laughs) Does anyone else do this? This is sick, right? It's your kink. I'm not gonna kink shame you. Do what you want. I'm gonna go home and peel off my fucking back mole and be like, uh, uh. That's so wild. 
So do you, how do you, what do you do? Do you gather some? Like, what if you're parched that day? <laughs> like. <laughs> That's even worse, like a light sprinkling? Just a light mist. You know what? That really gets me going. Not a full load, just a light little. <laughs> oh, six people are going to try that tonight when they go home. You're like, everyone's like, ew, and they're like, writing it down. Anything else? We got some more non sicko ones or sick. Belly buttons. Be- commercials? No, I hate that one. Belly buttons. Belly buttons make me sick. What's going on down there? I, are they fully closed? I don't believe they are. I think, I think at any point something can just slip out of there. And a lot of guys, you're not checking down there, lint built up in there. Months on months on ends lint. Have you seen this? Have you picked out lint before? I'm sorry you don't f*** the kind of pigs I f*** you prude. Mm, no, every guy f*** is hairless and there's no lint in his body, sorry. Have you ever found lint in the pee hole? Ooh, that's like a little prize. That's a fun little game. Like, oh, what's in here today? Ugh. Like, I don't know why it was that long. It wasn't that long. I was like, a magician like pulling out a long, just like, all the lint's tied together. <laughs> no, someone told me, recently a guy did my podcast actually and told me that he fell into a bunch of cactuses and months later, uh, a fucking needle just came out of his, th- I know, I know. So I'm thinking that one day maybe I'll just be like, and then just pull out a full an organ I think I needed this put it back in alright I'll do one more that was weird this is weird you guys have this is a really weird set even for me god damn it I heard pussy coats and there's no way you said that but that sounds like a fun thing that we should get on board with pussy coats are you kidding me tiny little fleece jackets that we just put just on there this is a fun do we have any entrepreneurs in the house tonight Oh my God, members only jackets just on the puss, zip it up. That's fun, maybe a vest, hello, let's get crazy. A little bit of pussy hanging out the side. I like that better than, what did you say? Musicals. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, I'm sick, Musicals. You're like, no, musicals, musicals. <laughs> Fuck. I'm, re- I'm really cl- a classy gal. Um, I don't, I've seen one. I saw, I saw Fiddler on the Roof. Is that a musical? <laughs> Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it at a halftime. My grandma's like, I'm tired. We're going home. And then that was, that was the only musical I've ever, maybe she's racist and I'm just realizing that right now. She's like, I'm tired. I'm like, you hate the Jews. That's what this is. All right, I'll bring up Jeremiah on that insane ending. <laughs> Jeremiah, get your ass up here. Keep it going for Steph Tolev. No, thank you. It got so gross immediately. What the heck? It got pretty nasty. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know how I know you're a real girl's girl? Is uh, that you called Fiddler on the Roof uh, the intermission halftime. <laughs> <laughs> you know it was when you go, you know when you go see a play and you know, they got a, the halftime in the middle. You go take yeah, a dump yeah, in the yeah. middle of this stuff. <laughs> Come on, I paid good money, but I don't want to miss one minute of this thing. I had to refill my fucking logger and get back to the fucking seat, all right? (laughs) Grandma gave me a pat in the back. and (laughs) (laughs) I had a stain on my Fiddler on the Roof jersey. I had to get it off. (laughs) Can you imagine? You got Fiddler on the Roof merch. (laughs) The name is just Jew on the back. (laughs) (laughs) 28. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What do we got? What do we got? Cow tipping. tipping. In in the part of Canada that you grew up, was cow tipping a thing? Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the biggest city in Toronto. No, no. We're like New York. There's Uh, Was it cow tipping for you? There was cow tipping, but we never did it successfully because we went out. My buddy lived in Missouri in the the Midwest, and uh, we went at like 2 o'clock in the morning because that's when you, you hear that they are... Out there, and, and they're, standing, they're supposed to be standing, standing and, and sleeping. sleeping. Okay, but which like, seems just sit down for a second, cows. What's your problem? <laughs> what, what's with the animals that don't lie down when they sleep? That's sick. You're yeah. a fat blob. Lie down for two seconds. Quit being a vampire. Take He's a nap. Psychotic. Nocturnal idiot. They deserve it. Yeah. 
So it's just so they're standing. So they're standing, and we're like, dude, I can't believe we're doing this. And we have like flashlights and stuff. And then like we look and like shine it on the cows. They're all just looking at us. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, wide awake. They're white. Yeah. None of them were sleeping. <laughs> Literally none of them. Lies also, they have ears. You guys yeah. all thought you were like, ding, 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 and you're like, I can't believe we're going to. Look at these fucking idiots. <laughs> we're literally saying out loud over, I can't believe we're going to cow tip tonight. And they're like, oh, these uh, jang. This again. Jesus yeah. <laughs> Christ. If I just lied down, this wouldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've never successfully cow tipped. How many? Uh, so you all would push the same side? Yeah, and then they they fall over. But the problem and do is, do they die? They they will break their legs sometimes when you cow tip. So Ew, that's why they, that's why they say don't do it. Up here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want. As I'm gonna go home and eat a burger, I'm like, ew, you sick. F- <laughs> <laughs> that's sad. I don't yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, but you, we didn't know that until after. We're like, dude, we almost tipped a cow last night, and then there's an old lady that's like. It best not be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> the old lady was behind the cow. Yeah. If I were you, I'd stay. I'd stay away. Yeah. <laughs> That's my mother right there. <laughs> I watch everything you do, boy. Don't be keeping those cows. Uh, let's grab another suggestion. Cocaine. 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 Yeah. Everyone thinks I'm on it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> How so- many of you in here right now thought I was on cocaine? Thanks. The guy who's also on cocaine? Yeah. The guy's wearing red tinted glasses who's on cocaine more than anybody in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only guy on cocaine. That's who I got it from. Um, (laughs) We can't. uh, He manages three boy bands. (laughs) (laughs) NSYNC doesn't work anymore, but he doesn't know that. (laughs) Bye, bye, bye. We're going to book (laughs) him. We'll get the band back together. I feel like me and you, I, I get worried with such big schnozzes that I always get scared. I'll get some stuck somewhere. Yeah. And I'll be minding my business the next day and go, go and be like at the bank and be like, here we go again. Like different storage compartments. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Totally, totally. Have you done coke? You don't seem like a coke guy. No, no, never done yeah, it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aw, yeah, yeah. oh, you f- prude. <laughs> Listen, I put all my effort into trying to cow tip, not do. Yeah. <laughs> that would help though. You'd be like, let's try again. Come on, come on. Close its eyes Knock this the cow time. Out. <laughs> Knock him out. <laughs> that would help. Dude. That would help. Cow cane? Come on. Cow cane. Come on. This is your let's gift. Go. You're giving this guy new ideas, huh? Just a snort. New boy man, cow <laughs> cane. <laughs> yeah, instead of woo, moo. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're on to something. We're on to here. something. This is why people go do cocaine yes, yes, and go on is, Shark Tank yes, as they yeah, develop yeah, ideas. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, here's the thing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's how the ideas come in. Right. All, every idea that is on Shark Tank was from cocaine, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. There's no way it wasn't. <laughs> Let's grab one last suggestion. Cats. <laughs> okay. Are you guys just getting lazy now? You're, no, this coat I'm holding. <laughs> <laughs> wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wallpaper? Economy flight. What was this up there? Plane crashes and what was this other one? With socks on? Okay. <laughs> Plane crashes, having, you know. Sex with like, socks, socks on. on. Yeah. Yeah. I like the socks on. Yeah. I, I'm getting shanked by too many toenails down there. <laughs> uh, you guys are fucking it up down there. You got real sharp corners. I'm getting sliced and diced. Keep your sock on. You got that big chunk of dirt in both sides of your fucking big toe. I don't want to see it. Oh, you all have clean toenails. Bring out the toes, boys. One by one. Don't you fucking lie to me. Oh! Once again, the guy with the scarf is like, I'd never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give me over Steph Tola. Thank you. That's our show. Did we have a good time tonight? <laughs> Keep it going for all the comedians that you saw. Come see us every second Tuesday of the month here at the Comedy Store and subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash I'm Jeremiah Watkins. I love you guys. Keep coming back. Have a great night!
Thanks for watching Stand Up on the Spot. New episodes drop every other Monday. And make sure you're subscribed. 78% of people who viewed this channel in the last 30 days are not subscribed. So don't be one of those people. Thanks so much.